Hello and welcome to Forest Arts with me, Steve. Okay, now if you saw my previous video, you would remember the artworks that I've done. This one, and then there was the the two coasters. They fully dried now. It's taken about ten days actually, and there's a vase as well which I shall show you here, look. just look at that. So, it's time to coat and to seal these now with some high gloss varnish. So, I'm going to use a foam brush on most, if not all, the four artworks. So we're gonna do this one first, okay. Right, I'm just, I'm just going to do the edge first and then I can put it down. Yeah, okay, now, as I've dropped a bit there, I have to go right across. These are really useful, these are, because because you don't tend to get bush marks like you sometimes can with a paint brush. You can get lines, which is why you have to do it a different way. Like this time I'm going this way, but next time we'll go down that way. And it will require another coat, sometimes even a third coat, just to really get rid of any of those lines and the very first coat which is what i'm applying now is really just going to sink straight in because obviously that is very dry at the moment that canvas so let's just move him now over there to dry okay now he's canvas it uh let me just move up there Okay, apologies for the background paper. I do need to move that actually because it's getting a little bit messy. So, just do the edge. Always do the edges first. There you go, can you see that? You know, really sort of get it into the grooves because this is like a piece of wood. Well, it is a piece and it's going to be quite tricky to get it all in, but you can. It's actually torb. It's actually torb a brush a bit further. Okay, let's just... Uh... Okay, I've got to touch that just for a second. That's not the way to do it, folks. <laughs> you know. Okay, there you go. It's got a nice shine on it now. Look. Let's just put him back to dry. And again, the same with this one. I'm, I'm going to go over the edge, even though, as you just saw, I will have to use that to hold. But it's not a major hassle. Look at that beautiful, I've got beautiful timber. I have got to do the back actually. In fact, I probably should have already been done. I just want to paint it so. black. There you go. And then across that way, put that to dry. Let me just warm my hands. Wipe off. Okay, now if you can remember, there was this vase. Now, this was an experiment, and the colors are a little bit darker than I planned. The trouble when you use a lot of dark greens and black, especially, can just wash it all out. But I like the look of it, it's still got the colour and those colours will pop. 
there was a little incident where when I looked I could see a, a, a strip of glass showing through which where the, the pore hadn't actually gone over so this one is not going to be for sale because I just went over it there and again there and you can't you can't sell that to anyone but you hide that out of the way nobody can see it so I should just use this myself so it is an experiment this one okay let's see if I can do it with the same yeah going to use this now rather than a, a brush just do the edge there okay I'm going to put this onto Uh, okay, so apologies, it's not centered, but so what are you all doing today? It's getting very close to Christmas now. So, what do you do over Christmas? Obviously, the world's gone into a crazy place at the moment. But, uh, oh, there's a little bit there. Oh, I, can, I can see the glass shining through there. So that is looking really good. Um, yeah, and once it's dry, that'll have a shine. And... Gonna make sure there's no drips now for a few minutes. I just tend to um, treat Christmas as um, an ordinary, an ordinary time. Really, I know you spend a little bit more time, hopefully, with your family. That's what it's all about. It's not about eating loads of food, and it's certainly not about getting drunk and it's about being happy and merry yes yeah, so whatever makes you merry and happy you do but for me i just tend to like it to be almost almost similar to any other week i don't buy any really extra food really it's i just tend to do what i normally would do really okay i gotta leave that now that's drying. So these foam bushes are really good. I know only a couple of dollars for a packet of three, or about one pound fifty UK pounds, and they do the trick nicely. So that's that's uh, four items that have been varnished. I have ordered another vase, and it should be here one day next week. And that one. Um, you can join me for the video on that one. It's going to be an, a painting, a fluid one again, but it's going to be using uh, so many lighter colours. I don't think I'll even put a black in, or if I do, it'll only be a smidgen of black, because I want more white. I want some nice, beautiful blues to be in that uh, painting, and red. So I've got a beautiful cad cadmium red turn up. So. And I've got to make sure. This was an experiment, this one. A tester, if you like. So next time I'll make sure that the pore has gone completely over. Because the last thing you want to do a day or two after is start touching it up. You don't want to be doing that. If you'll get the results that I've got there. But I do like the colours. They are starting to pop now. I know you probably can't see it at the moment, but... I'll take some pictures and put them on the end of this video for you. And I can see the pink is really starting to shine through now, and the green. And that's the beauty of sealing it with gloss varnish.
they'll give it that shine and bring those colours out, make them pop. Okay, this is just a quick video on the varnishing. Um, so whatever you do, have a fantastic day, enjoy your weekend. And if you like what you've just watched and you want to see other videos that I make, then please do hit the subscribe button. Share this with your family, share it with your friends and hit the bell icon and you'll be notified of uh, all my latest videos. And do join me and do comment. I'd love to know where you're from around the world. And um, <clears throat> excuse me and stay tuned because I will be doing a video close to Christmas or possibly even Christmas Day and I'm gonna have a Christmas giveaway. Yes, it's gonna be a Christmas giveaway. Stay tuned for that. So stay happy and enjoy. Bye.